So I'm very excited because today we are going to go to Ipswich and do at least part of a walk which would eventually take us over the Orwell Bridge. And that's the bridge that uh, carries the A14 over the River Orwell as the name would suggest. So I'm just trying to think of the best way to get to Ipswich now. Um, well, it's going to be this way, isn't it? Along the... Yeah. That's oh, going to be this way. So, we'll see what... Uh, I must stop saying er. Uh. So currently, we're on our way to Ipswich to do a recce for a walk uh, which somebody I know has done, partially done this walk. The walk that I have in mind takes us over the Orwell Bridge. Now whether you can still walk over the Orwell Bridge, I'm not really sure, but we will see. This is the street in Tendering, possibly the worst road in the UK, because it's like driving over the surface of the moon so you know when you pass something by every day in the course of your work or the course of something you do every day and you always think hmm I fancy going in there well I've stopped at this pub I'll tell you the name of it in a bit I forgot the name of it which I've always fancied coming in and I go past every day on my school run so I am going to go in and see if I can get some ham egg and chips or something as wonderful and so, uh, yes, I think I shall. So we're going to see what the name of the pub is called. Anyway, as I say, ham, egg and chips. Lovely ham, egg and chips. Um, a lovely lager shandy. Bread and butter. And, uh, ooh, it's a bit hairy. Oh, it's not too bad, you can see. The Gardener's Arms, there we are. The Gardener's Arms, I can recommend it. So we're gonna, we might as well stay on this road now. So this is the road that goes through Holbrook and the hospital school. And we are going to, uh, we're gonna stay on here. We have got, oh my God, 32. We've got a temperature of 32. So what I might do is not do the walk today, but I'm gonna have a look anyway, I'm halfway there. We might as well have a look and do a recce and see if we can get to the walking part of the bridge. He's just a walking man. With his life in his hands, he goes around in a carefree way. And normally at the end here, we would be turning a right to go to Wolverston School, which is my school run that I do every day. But today we're going to be going left, back towards, um, the, um, the, you know, the bridge, back towards Ipswich. That's the one. We're going left, back towards Ipswich. and the famous Orwell Bridge. And it's named the Orwell Bridge because when they were trying to decide whether to have a tunnel or a bridge, you know, they're having these big conversations, you know, and in the end, the bloke said, oh, well, let's have a bridge. That's not true, actually. So we've stopped at the vantage point now and we're going to go uh, and have a look and see if we can find the footpath that leads up to the bridge. So wish me luck while I 
go and see what's what's what okay so <laughs> in a minute we're going to be up there hopefully it all goes well so we're going to head up that uh, bank there I've just been on the phone to Suffolk Constabulary and uh, they haven't got a problem at all they didn't even raise their eyebrows they said yeah you can walk across the bridge we wouldn't have any problem with unless you were standing on the edge or something like that I said yes I don't think I'll be intending to do that I'm not going to get off this bridge until the other end so that is actually bloody scary now looking at that you know there's something you always wanted to do <laughs> and uh, oh I see steps yes I can see the I can see the axis so there we are we can see the there's the bridge and there is the axis oh no here we go this looks like a footpath to me <laughs> over we go Jeezo. and there it is there's the expansion joint for when the temperatures climb to what they have been <laughs> oh my god this is worth it just for this <laughs> oh my giddy aunt we we are very high and I'm very out of breath this is going to be I'm going to have to sit down on top of here I think because this is quite a climb flipping Nora flipping Nora all of a sudden I am apprehensive about this I mean one slip And this is the moment where you think do I or don't I? So isn't that amazing? That is absolutely incredible. So this is something that I had to do just for my own This is my own improvements. So we're now <laughs> we're walking over the Old World Bridge. And quite remarkable it is too. It's gonna be a mile. I wanna see if it shakes at all. There's stuff going across it. And so if we look, we can just see how high we are, and we are 
we're already pretty high and we haven't even scraped the surface yet so uh, this is amazing this is totally amazing in fact I'm going to take the now this is a view of the bridge that you would not normally see so we're looking down there and we can see my car I mean we didn't even think that you could do it we did not think that you could walk over the Orwell Bridge we did not think it would be possible the walkway is in fact wider than it looks it looks very small but you've got the you've got the walkway which is about four feet wide Plus you've got the extra, um, you've got the extra line there. So um, it's rather so it's rather. over the side now I've driven a double-decker bus over here in high winds and this is much more exciting much more exciting this really is quite nice because although the trucks you know you've got trucks going along here but you're quite a way away from them they're not really near the white line so you've got three you've got three barriers you've got the you've got this bit you got the white line and the trucks are still a couple of feet from the white line and we're still not on the centre we're still not on the centre of the bridge <coughs> so we've come about this far and Here we go. So if the um, if the person goes in blue would have had a problem with this, I wouldn't have done it. But it seemed there was no problem at all. So this is really, really but you see and at the same time really exciting really good I'm going to look over the side so if we look 
down, we're over the first pier. So we're just starting the big span in the middle. So we're just, um, we're just at the edge of the middle span now. And it's really, it's not too bad. It's not scary. You know, they've, uh, they've left the first base. So I just hope that we've got uh, not too much uh, wobble on the camera. So this is actually two bridges. So you've got the first carriageway and if you go underneath the bridge you can actually see a gap in the middle in the middle of the carriageway so the, the bridge is actually two bridges next to each other that's not too windy And just to prove it's me, I'll turn the camera around in a minute so that we can. So yeah, we are central between the two piers. So if you look down there and down there, there are two piers. So we're about in the middle. And. Uh, Can go wrong. A wheel could come off a coach or something. Nah, that would never happen. Impossible. across it on a windy day. The view from up here is absolutely <laughs> incredible. The view is rather spectacular to say the least. It was worth the trip I was definitely worth the trip. And you got the views down there as well. I think that's the walk that uh, my friend was telling me about. So down there you can continue all along there. I believe there's a walk all along that coastline. So, yeah. Well, let's continue. must be bloody mad. Actually, it's all right. It really isn't. It's not scary at all. It's noisy. It's very noisy. And I thought it was going to be a bit scary, but you're actually not far. You're actually quite a distance, I mean, away from the trucks. There's a good, I don't know, there's a good uh, 15 feet, 15 feet away. This is, I say, you've got the, um, we've got to go back again in a bit.
So you can see the arches of the bridge under there. I'm not leaving any further out than this. There's no way. So when you look down, it's uh, that's quite scary when you look down. But as it's only water, it's not so bad. It's still more than likely kill you though if you hit it at speed you know, from, from the top. <laughs> As I say, the view is really quite spectacular. Can't see over the other side, but. Um, yeah, the view is something else. The view is quite something else. I did it. What I could do. Maybe we'll see how far we can get. to say we are now in Suffolk but um, we we're in Suffolk we were in Suffolk anyway so Suffolk is the same so it's the same this side and that side it's all Suffolk so I better not say that at I this is really very exciting So if I drop the camera now, you'll see There we are, and there's a little walk down there, look And so we're nearly at the bottom of this wonderful, wonderful bridge. So we have come right over there. It's quite a climb. That is quite a climb. I saw the camera hanging over there, it ain't me. You don't have to tell me twice to stay on this footpath. As I said to the lady, <laughs> as I said to the lady at the police, you know, constabulary, some of constabulary, I said, I don't intend to be getting off the bridge until I get to the other end. So, uh, so there we go. So we're over the land now, as you can see. Little sort of thing down there. I'll take you up. And uh,
So that was pretty spectacular. <laughs> A bit of tire. <laughs> I don't intend, but so here we have the expansion joint. So this is where this bit and this bit, when the bridge expands, it moves. I'd like to measure that actually, see where that is, and then see where it is in the cold day. And these wires that provide power to the things, they're designed so that they move. So this is the expansion joint, which goes right across the road, as you can see, and makes interesting noises when the cars come over. So, so there we are, that's the old wheel bridge, that's the footpath. I must admit the stairs this end are much nicer than the stairs the other. So this is our expansion, expansion joint there, there it is, look at that, it looks a bit dodgy doesn't it, oh. I'm sure it's not though, I'm sure it's well inspected. These uh, bottom, the bottom concrete things are actually hollow and there's room for a man inside. Conspiracy theorists would say that there's some kind of secret weaponry hidden in there or something, but as I can't be asked with conspiracy theories, there probably isn't. So let's go down these steps and explore. This is very exciting. And we can go right. <laughs> How? How up close and personal do you want? Flipping heck. Now this is what I would call up close and personal. I wish I had my reading glasses because I can't quite see what the image is going to be like on here. Hopefully it's going to be good. I think we've got the auto focus no we've got manual focus oh my god they are the access points well no they're possibly not access points they're possibly vents to let moisture escape so we are now flipping it this is actually more scary this is more scary than actually walking over it, being underneath it, and seeing that we have actually two, for all intents and purposes, they are two separate bridges joined together. So we are on the Felixstowe side of the bridge, and the noise you can hear are trucks going over the expansion joints. So we can take you Oh my god, so we can't go any further than this. Can we get the edge? Can't quite see the edge of the bridge because we've got the We've got the railings here, so we better not sort of do too much. We got a nice dinghy there <laughs> How that got up there? Lord only knows probably someone's living underneath it Okay. So now, what we are going to do is go down these stairs, see if we can cross over, and we'll walk back on the other side of the bridge. Now, um, hopefully, 
I'd rather do that because hopefully there'll be a better slope because that slope climbing was quite bad. Climbing the slope to the bridge was actually more hairy than walking across the bridge because of the fact that if you slip and you start rolling, you're going to roll all the way down to the bottom. And when you're my age, you don't want to be rolling all the way down to the bottom of anything, really. Not unless you're inside something with good brakes. So there we are, look, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I've got no other, sorry for the swearing, but it's really, really, uh, that's obvious is to stop things like sheep maybe climbing up there because a sheep would have no a sheep would have no problem climbing those stairs and uh, but the trouble is that the problems would all start once it got onto the A14 and you're practically it's practically a motorway but actually I, I found personally walking across was not scary at all you're quite away from the trucks most of them know what they're doing I say most. And again, we got some uh, spectacular views underneath. So we were just up there, as you can see, and we're going to ascend and see if we can walk back on the other side. So we've got the traffic facing us again, which I'd much prefer. If something is going to run into me, I'd like to see it first. What have got here? This is interesting. Some kind of... Don't know what, really. Does anyone know what this is? Because I have no idea so we're still walking parallel to the A14 which is up there and uh, on this little footpath I'll turn around in a minute because we've run out of time or I'm not going to have the energy to walk back over the bridge as I say it looks like we're going to have to walk back the same way so we're going to have to be with the traffic coming behind us so I'm not I don't particularly fancy that but never mind and we're going to have to come down that horrible slope as well I wonder how far this footpath would take us if we were to if I were to stay on it who knows if the sound's a bit different I've taken the um, the chest mic off the label mic Oh look, we've got a little bit of a river going under there. So this is obviously how we'll go under the A14. Looks more like some kind of drainage, you know, as opposed to just a river. It's concreted in, so it's some kind of uh, man-made drainage, possibly for the water from the road. You know, roads collect an awful lot of water if it's raining hard, or it's raining fairly heavily. So they always have to factor in some kind of drainage for the road itself. Even though the road's up there, the water's still got to be channeled once it comes down here, and so it goes into there. So, there we go. I think we'll, shall we head back? Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back along the track. If that's all right with you, Mac. Oh, I've got Mac with me. He's trailing behind, carrying the sound equipment. Mac? Mac? That's not there. Someone was walking along I couldn't see. They think, what the bloody hell is he talking to? They would think, I don't know what I think. 
So, see you back at the bridge everyone. We're going to go back with the dynamic image stabiliser on this time. Just in case the image from the first. And we're also going to have stereo sound because the, the microphone cameras the camera mics will pick up stereo, whereas the the um, lapel mic didn't pick up stereo. And in case you didn't know why I took that out, it's because the uh, they've run out of charge, which is fine. I've got a spare set actually, which I could have brought with me and just plugged those in, but it doesn't matter. And we're heading back towards the towards the base of the bridge again, and we're going to walk across the other way this time and then maybe into Ipswich for a coffee where uh, I think he suggested sounds good on the waterfront well that was an adventure although it's great walking across the bridge the one thing that uh, it isn't is tranquil Where you have the soliquility. Oh, look at that, look. Look at that. Oh, bless. Where you have the soliquality, <laughs> solitude and tranquility of a walk, which is one of the main enjoyment factors of a walk. Walking over the bridge, exciting though it is, it isn't exactly tranquil. Um, funny enough, you don't really notice diesel fumes or anything. There she is. So just to prove it is me doing this, here's my ugly mug as we wend our way towards the old bridge. There we go. So you've got, there we are. I would never cease to be amazed at the scale of this thing. I don't think the camera will really do it justice. So the actual scale is remarkable. So you go on, we can't go up the other side, as I say. Hi. Hi. So we've got to go back on the other side. So here we are. There we go. 